In this video, we are going to discuss about a linear delay model that is delay in a multi-stage logical network. This figure it shows the logical and electrical effort of each stage in a multi-stage path as a function of size of each stage. The path of interest is marked with a dashed line. Um, that is this one okay from source this is your destination um, observe that the logical effort is independent of size while the electrical effort is dependent on the size uh, that is suppose if I want to calculate the electrical effort that is H uh, for this this is your first stage and this is your second stage and this is your third stage and this is your fourth stage okay uh, that is output of the inverter is given to the input of the NOR gate. So it is your first stage. Okay, this is your second stage, and this is your third stage, and this is your fourth stage for my path which I am selected. Okay, so what is H4? H4 is the electrical effort. That is nothing but output capacitance divided by input capacitance. Here, the input capacitance value is given inside the inverter. Okay, this is your NAND gate, and uh, and uh, this is your an R gate this is your two input NAND gate okay so what is a um, uh, logical effort logical effort is given by G okay that is a C in of the gate for example here I have taken inverter so C in of the inverter divided by C in of a inverter so you will get one so for NAND gate C in of a NAND gate divided by C in of the inverter C in of the inverter is 3 and uh, C in of the NAND gate is 4 ok so likewise I have, uh, I have shown for the 4 logical effort for the 4 gates ok G1, G2, G3 and G4 the formula is for NOR gate does uh, 2N plus 1 divided by 3 here the N represents number of inputs ok so for NAND gate that is N plus uh, Two divide by three. Okay. So what is G? Capital G represent the path logical effort. It can be expressed as a product of uh, the logical effort of the each state along the path. This is given by G is equal to product of G i. So here i represent i one to four. Okay. Uh, so G1, G2, G3, G4. So if I multiply, I will get 20 divided by 9. Okay. So what is path electrical effect? H. It can be given by the ratio of the output capacitance uh, along the path must drive uh, divided by the input capacitance presented by the path. So that is H is equal to C out by C in. So I will get 20 divided by 1. Okay. So this is your 20 divided by 10, you will get 2. Right. Next uh, path effort. Path effort F is a product of each stage effort of each stage. That is um, uh, pi of F i. That is uh, F i is nothing but G i into H i into B i. Okay. So here B is equal to 1. So uh, G 1, H 1 and B 1. Okay. What is G 1, H 1? This is your uh, for G1 it is 1 and H1 is uh, 3 x by 10. Likewise, uh, 5 by 3 into y by x. Next, to multiply this one, okay. 4 by 3 into z by y and uh, 1 into 20 by z. So, if I solve, I will get uh, 40 by 9, okay. So, what is path effort? Path effort is a product of the branching effort uh, between the E stage. Okay, so here I have taken F is equal to 40 by 9. So, okay, so uh, F cap is equal to F power 1 divided by N that is equal to you will get um, uh, number of stages is 4. Okay, so you will get uh, F, F by F power 1 by 4 is equal to G A into H I. Okay, so instead of uh, I have to substitute 4. If I substitute 4, I will get. Um, this is your 4, okay, 20 by Z. GA HA into BA, okay. So GA HA into BA, you will get um, 20 by Z. So if I solve this one, I will get the value of Z, right. Similarly, for if I want to find the value of uh, Y, I have to substitute F power 1 by 4 is equal to G3 H3 B3, 
okay so that is uh, from this uh, you can find the value of y similarly if i want to find the value of x you have to substitute f4 1 by 4 is equal to g2 h2 b2 so on solving you will get the value of x is equal to 14.6 okay so this is what uh, they have asked what is the value of x y z input capacitance okay so um, uh, if i want to find the path delay that path delay is equal to path of foot plus uh, path parasitic delay okay so df is represented as n n into f power 1 by n so n is 4 and uh, you know that the value of f power 1 by n plus uh, parasitic path parasitic delay that is equal to summation of uh, p okay summation of p so for the um, uh, for the <coughs> cmos inverter uh, the parasitic delay is 1 for this one it is 2 this is number of inputs okay so simply you can take it as a number of inputs so here 1 2 2 and 1 so if you add this one you will get uh, 6 so the overall value is 11.8 okay So from this you can also find the operating frequency the f is equal to 1 by d 